going? This is Marty Kokish with uh, Marty's Garage, and today I'm down at, at Norm's house. You may remember him from the furnace episode a few weeks ago, but uh, Norm's teaching me how to weld today because I'm sure I'm going to have lots of that in my future. So, uh, the guy on that. Tim Taylor. So, the neighbor. without further ado, there's Norm. <laughs> so, what, what are we doing? We're welding some uh, brackets. And what kind of what kind of welder are you using there? This is a wire feed. Mhm. Mm and so you can, if I'm right, you can use this uh, with a wire with a flex core. That that's what this has flex core. Yeah. Or you can use argon gas. That's right. right. Yep. And uh, what's the big difference between the two? Uh, argon doesn't smoke, and this does a lot. And it's harder to uh, and the oil weld. Is more expensive. And it's just harder to weld with the, the flex core is more expensive. Yeah, yeah, well, double. So okay, so looks like you uh, you got two pieces of angle iron stuff here, right? Yes, that's correct. And uh, you just kind of tacked it together with uh, with a starter weld. Yeah. And you're gonna show me how to attack weld according to Kevin. <laughs> and, uh, attack weld. Attack yeah. weld. Yeah. Attack. Or attack. 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 Not attack. Well, bolt. No. Sometimes you have to attack them. <laughs> now, um, so what do you? How do? What's the process here? Well, well, so it looks like you've you got a ground you, here. Yep. Or, so actually, what you do is you lay the wire right where you want to start. Yep. And as soon as you hit the trigger, it'll, it'll strike an arc. Okay. Oops. Everybody at home, look directly into this. <laughs> You shouldn't really look directly into that, <laughs> but, but so. So there we just created. Do you, so do you create like a puddle and then you just start moving it? Or? Right. Yeah. So what it actually does is it feeds metal into the joint as it melts the metal around it. Okay. And uh, we've got different settings and stuff here on your welder. Yeah. Can you? Uh, well, this one runs the speed of the wire. So the faster the speed, the bigger yep. the blob you're going to make. These settings actually kick up the. The current. Okay. So it's variable with depending which which you run. There's not a lot of adjustment on on the MIG welders. Okay. Not on the cheaper ones. The more expensive ones have more adjustments. And so, and you're wearing a mask, and that's a good idea. Yes. Because you can. You and this one self tints, so you can see through it. And Once as you soon start. As you start welding, it gets darker. Okay. Just like an American chopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. If you look, if you don't use a mask, you could, you actually like sunburn you be your blind eyeballs, for right? The rest of the day. So yes. don't do that. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, we're gonna mess around a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, and I just tried to weld, and it kind of sucked. I need to learn better. <laughs> and, uh, but Kevin's got to go soon, so he wants to. Why your face easier? Than he wants to show off his welding prowess. I never use this, so. Right. Feels like you're burning your face. <laughs> How's that work? Yeah, what? He said good. <laughs> well, these would be a little bit of a trick. What are you going to do with these things? One's good and one's bad. Needs to be hotter. What's that? Needs to be hotter. Oh, okay. For that metal, it does. Let me see how your weld looks. I like a little turd. Well, it's turdy, but better than mine. <laughs> yeah, I probably had to kick it up a notch for that the evening that will try. <coughs> try one one lot notch up on this. Yeah, that's better. 
Okay. That's it. Sweet. Now show them the end product. Now you're on fire. We built that. Okay. I think things are coming quite along now. Um, um, in the last couple minutes, we actually uh, uh, built this uh, snowblower here with our newly found skills, and uh, I think we're coming along quite well. Still. Oh, and, and Norm built this. This is Norm's contraption. He built his own three-wheeler. What is it? The stealth. The stealth? Yeah. So. Okay, so I've been practicing for a little bit now. And uh, haven't built the snowblower yet, but I'll just kind of show you the progress. So here's my first weld. See how it's not very pretty. And here's where I'm at now right now. It's starting to look a lot better. And uh, yeah, but then then again, this is thick. Is this steel or iron? Angle iron, yeah, Angle eight, iron. eighth inch thick. So um, it's going to be a little bit trickier doing this on the fenders and quarter panels a lot and trickier. floorboards and stuff. But um, we were just actually talking about this, and I've got this other fender that I, I said I was probably going to try to replace because the end down there is kind of icky. But, uh, so I'm probably going to get a replacement fender, and, uh, uh, and this one can be used for experimentation, I guess. So, okay, goodbye.